Hi, this is John at Happy Wife Acres. Let's cut up a rabbit. So if you bought a rabbit from us or maybe at the store, it's going to come looking like this. It's sealed in a heat shrink bag. You can go right in the freezer. Maybe it came from the freezer. Um, after it's thawed, it's going to look like this. This is about a two and a half pound rabbit. So now you're thinking, well, I got the rabbit. What do I do with it? So let me show you how to cut it up. So first, a sharp knife. I cannot overemphasize that enough. If you don't have a good sharp knife, go buy one. Learn how to sharpen one. On a rabbit, most of your meat is right here along the back. There is also the, the hinds. And then there's the front legs, but there's not a whole lot of meat on that. It's kind of like a chicken wing. We're going to start on the front legs. If you move this up, what you're going to see right here, you're going to see that bone pop up. There's no bone to bone connection between the body and the leg. So if you start right up under this bone, you're just going to cut and this will come right off. So there's your first piece. Turn it over, do it again, lift this right here. You'll see that pop up. It's very evident when you see it. Uh, we're just going to go right up under it, cut, slice forward, and front leg comes off. All right, first two pieces. I'm going to move to the back to the hind legs. And you'll see there's a natural line right here. And on the back, it, there's almost a diagram for you. It just runs uh, 45 degrees down to the back. That's where we're going. So I'm going to lift the leg. I'm going to cut down that line. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Cut down that line. Now, it is connected at a joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and break that joint. Now I can get my knife in there and separate that out. There's the joint. Get around the tail. And there's one back leg. There. And the second back leg. Okay, now we're left with the main body. And on the bottom, these are the belly flaps. If this was a pig, that would be your bacon. So I'm going to cut those belly flaps off. Can you use those? Yes, you can. Uh, you can throw it in with your stock. Some people will wrap vegetables or something with it. Put it in, cut it up, put it in your soup. Okay. So now you're left with the main body, what people want. They want this loin right here. Um, so now you're going to look for the ribs. If you look inside, you can see the ribs. And you're going to go to the very last rib. And you're going to cut along that rib towards the body of the animal. Okay. We're going to get rid of this part, is what we're doing. And you can cook the rabbit whole. That's not a problem. But what you're going to wind up with is a lot of small bones. Uh, not bad for a, for a spatchcock grilling, but if you're trying to fry this up, uh, this, is, this would be like the back of a chicken, not something too desirable. So find that, find that last rib, and then I'm just going to cut down until I get to the spine. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Find that last rib, and cut down the spine, and you just take it and bend it back. And 
I like to twist it, it makes it a little easier. Then just cut the rest of the meat, and there you have it. On the back side, this bone right here is a big flat bone, and we're also going to cut at a 45 degree back to the spine under that bone. So right here, go in, cut to the spine, one on this side, go under it, cut to the spine, do the same thing. Bend it back, crack it, twist it, comes right off. Save this, save this, put that in your stock pot, make some delicious rabbit stock. What are you left with? You're left with the loin. Uh, you can do a few things with it. One, you can cut it in half and you can have two meal portions. Uh, you can serve it with half a loin and a hind leg. Uh, yeah. This, the front legs, you can choose to, to cook them or put them in the stock pot depending on how much meat you think is on there. Another thing you can do with this loin is you can bone it. And you can feel, here's the, the back spine. If I come along one side and I just keep working my way down, just like a chicken breast. Go all the way through. There, a beautiful boneless rabbit loin. Right there, missed one rib bone. That's okay. Do the same thing here, just gonna cut down through the meat along the spine. Thing almost falls off. So. So there you have it. These are all the pieces of a rabbit. You got your two hind legs, got your belly flap, two boneless loin, front legs, and bones for stock. Quick, easy, do not be afraid of cutting up a rabbit. We sell more rabbit now than we do chicken because we think they're easy to raise and they taste better and they're we think they're much healthier too uh, so try out a rabbit from us it's five dollars a pound right now and right now the rabbits we have are about two and a half pounds we have another breed that by early next year we hope to get that up to about three and a half pounds but don't think of this as a treat this is everyday lean meat for your family one thing I want to add about rabbit is people will ask, what does it taste like? And then other people say, well, it tastes like chicken. Uh, this has a mild, almost a sweet flavor. You can put it right in a frying pan, cook it any way you would cook chicken, and it is delicious. It's just very, very lean. And like I said, we sell it for five bucks a pound. If you went to the store, you'd probably pay eight to $10 a pound. So order a rabbit from us, check it out today. And while I got you here, let's cut up a chicken. Uh, this is a very small chicken that we butchered. Uh, so it's a, just what you would be used to looking at from the store when you bought from us. Okay, you got, you got your wings, you got your legs, thighs, drumsticks, and the breast. Okay. So we'll start with the wings. We're gonna cut in between the wing and the body We're going to cut in until we find that joint. So there's the joint. I'm going to go in between the joint. We're not cutting bone. And it comes right off. Okay. We do the other side. We're going to go in. Find that joint. There's some tendons there. We're going to cut those out. And there's the other wing. For the drumstick and thigh, and we're going to go between the body, between the thigh, 
here on the on the back right in here uh, this is called the oyster muscle and it's extremely tender so if you ever buy a whole chicken that's it's been uh, rotisserie at Sam's or something like that uh, grab this piece when nobody's looking okay it'll be delicious so we're gonna we're gonna come in right above that oyster muscle we're gonna go almost to the spine don't want to leave that on and then we're going to come back up so we can get through the joint of the leg okay. now it's kind of easy if you just bring this back and pop that joint because then you know exactly where it's at okay. we're going to go through it and then down to the back and there's your drumstick and thigh. We do the same thing on this side. So it's the, the reverse, but we're going to cut into the to the oyster muscle. Come back out a little bit so we can get through that joint. Pull that back. Cut that right out. Okay? What are you left with? You're left with the back, which like the rabbit, that's what you're going to use for stock and you're left with the two breasts. One thing you can do, if you go right through almost the middle of the cavity where the, the top and bottom ribs come together, you can just cut right through this. Not very difficult. You can bend that off. So now you've got your back. That goes in your stock pot. What you're left with is the breast. If you want a, a boneless breast, you've got your wishbone that runs right here. Uh, again, this is the, the front of the animal. This would be the tail. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut underneath that wishbone. See it right there. I'm going to cut right under it. Go forward cut under it on this side, forward, and then all I'm doing is I'm just like the rabbit, I'm slicing to get this off of the keel bone. The chicken tender is up under there. And once you get it started, you can grab it and really just rip it down. There's your breast. Same thing on the opposite side. Just going to go along the keel bone until that gets loosened up. Grab it, rip it down. There's your breast. What is this? This is the keel bone. That goes in your stock pot. Stock pot, stock pot. Uh, if you want to separate a thigh from a leg, turn it over so you see the inside. And there's going to be a line. There's a line right there. Okay. And you're just going to go right through that. That line tells you where the joint is. Do the same thing with the other one. Turn it over to get to the inside. There's a line right there. Push right through. There you go. So here's your, here's your eight-piece chicken. Got two drumsticks. Two thighs two boneless skinless breasts and two wings eight piece chicken meal save this for your stock so there you go quick and easy on how to how to cut up a chicken by the way if you buy a fresh chicken from us and you want us to cut it up we charge three dollars save you three dollars to go home and do this yourself it, it only takes a couple minutes as you can see there you go quick and easy how to cut up a rabbit how to cut up a chicken come check us out for rabbit we occasionally have chicken, but we have way more rabbit. Thanks for watching. To you loyal subscribers, thank you very much for, for watching. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And it's going to be right about there. So thanks, and we'll see you on the homestead. Bye.